Welcome to Angels Anything Show. And today we are in Boston, Massachusetts on Fish Tour. That's right, baby. We're back on tour. <laughs> You may have seen that we were just in Saratoga Springs for their shows at SPAC. We went home for a day to recuperate, and now we're here in Boston for two nights to see the band at Fenway Park. We're staying at a Courtyard Marriott. We're staying at a Courtyard a Marriott in Cambridge. I'm actually in the room right now, and you can see we have some city views behind us. Danny Boy just got in. I'm eating some dinner, lunch dinner. Lena, and then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go. It's fucking hot outside, and getting into any show at Fenway is an absolute shit show. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to surrender to the flow, as they say. And I'm just gonna have to get really drunk and to deal with the heat uh, and not being in control. We're gonna do the best we can. And you're coming along. You guys, it's Saturday. It's like two o'clock. We are chilling in this air conditioned hotel room because it is 91 degrees out outside with a humidity of like 70%. It says, the weather says it feels like 100, and there's a heat advisory in effect till 5 p.m., at which time it's gonna start raining. <laughs> so we'll be dancing in the rain tonight, which is whatever. I will take that over the temperature. So if it's gonna cool down, I'm fine with it. But hopefully it's not like pouring rain because that would blow. <coughs> so what's our plan today? This is it. We're gonna wait till as long as possible to head to the show, I think. But not too long because otherwise it'll be crazy. I don't know. We went to Trader Joe's, got some snacks. Now we're hanging out. So really nothing else to see here. Let's cross our fingers for the show tonight and see what happens. All right, guys, it's four o'clock and I showered and stuff, but we're still just sitting in this hotel room because it has not started to rain yet, so the heat has not broken at all. <clears throat> Although it says like it's gonna lightning and shit. So this will be very interesting. We will see what happens. I am very not looking forward to the weather. What do you think, Dan? I can see the rain. Is it coming? It's like I can't even explain. It's not even hot out. It's just like stepping into a, a, a sauna or something. So we'll see what happens. Keep you posted. All right, guys. I think the rain is starting to finally move in. But then you can see over here. It's nice. I predict it's going to rain ferociously and be done within like an hour. Hopefully I'm right, but if not, I'm prepared. I have my Tevas, I have my rain jacket, I don't even have these two things, so. That's, that's Tums and Tylenol, nothing fun. Did you see the lightning? Uh, 
fashion of fish. Poncho, but make it fashion. They think they're going to go on at 7.45. So we're here at Fenway. It's raining still. We're all geared up. But I look good. Emily, she just stays dry. Emily stays dry. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how. It's an it Asian thing. Yeah, it's, some, it's ethnic. I don't Asian know. power. I spent twelve fifty on this large twisted tee. It's not even like that. It's not even good. It's not even that big. And I spent eleven fifty on a Bud Light and five seventy five on a pretzel. So, as of now, the show is not happening until seven forty five, which it should start at around seven, and it ends early. So we're gonna. Because Fenway has to shut down at eleven. That's like their rule. Because Boston is. Boston, night, it, Boston. The last show that I went to was Curveball, so that's my luck. Oh, it's happening it again. It might be me. It might be me. I shouldn't go. again. Up there, we should stay there. I'm looking up by a house. I know one guy. Okay, we just got out of the show. There was a major rain delay. The show didn't start till like 8.30, but Fish went past curfew. They played till 11.30, no set right. break. So what I'm saying is we basically got a full show. Also, like a, ch like a child, I have a pimple on my cheek. Like a child. We're getting out of this crowd. We're walking out of Fenway. We're freshening up, and then we're gonna go see Pink Talking Fish at the House of Blues for an after show. So we're in this crowd. You guys, something just happened outside the house of blues. I may have just started a riot. <laughs> a whole thing erupted. We started screaming. We got kicked out. We're not going to the after show. But I just, I don't know. I still can't get over that I have a pimple like a 10-year-old boy right here. All right, guys. It's the next day, and I'm back home. We're back home after a long week of awesome fish vacation that started in Lake George, went to Saratoga, and ended up at Fenway Park in Boston. Now, last I checked in with you guys, we were in the rain, and then the show started late, like an hour and a half late, and Fish ended up playing past the, like, sound curfew, and ended up doing, like, a two and a half hour show with no set break, and it was just fucking awesome. It was so cool because they never do that. Obviously, there's always like a set break, so. So it was just really cool because it was different and it made the long rainy day worth it because it was just such a great high energy show and it felt kind of special, kind of unique. Anyway, I'm super beat, but let me try to recap this thing that happened after the show. We were trying to go see Pink Talking Fish at the House of Blues. They were doing an after show. House of Blues is a notoriously horrible venue to get into. The security is terrible. It's always these like super young attitude kids who it almost seems like they get instructed to be super aggressive, like not even for after fish shows, just in general, every time you go. And if you've been there in Boston, let me know if you've experienced this. It's almost like they get prepped by their managers, like, hey, don't let these people like walk all, like. So we get in line at House of Blues and the line is not moving at all and it's like hundreds and hundreds of people in line and we get to the front and this like girl with this fucking attitude on her face 
who couldn't have been more than like 21. She's giving this woman, there's like a 40 year old woman with a backpack. She's giving her shit being like, you can't bring that backpack in here. And takes the backpack and is gonna go off to the side to like search this backpack. Meanwhile, there's hundreds of people trying to get into the show that's already started. She leaves her post, one of two people that are letting people in, and she just leaves. So we're standing there for like minutes and minutes and minutes, like what the fuck is going on? And finally we just are like, we're walking in. Like basically they wouldn't let anyone walk through the metal detector, even though like we'd all just left a concert. Like nobody, basically they weren't letting anybody through the metal detector. Nobody, security wasn't there. It was completely disorganized chaos. We were being treated like pieces of cattle, like pieces of shit. So finally, I was like, I'm going. Like, no one's here. I'm walking through. And I walked through the metal detector. Well, then, all of a sudden, everyone has an issue. I go, okay, search my bag. No, they want me to go back in line. I'm like, no. No. Like, get here. Do your job. Like, nobody was there. I can't even explain it to you guys without me sounding like a douchebag. But trust me, like, I've been to hundreds of concerts. I've been to several venues in several cities. We had just all successfully managed 15,000 people to get in and out of a shit show rainstorm at Fenway with no incidents. Yet the venue that is set up for music was an utter shit show and everyone was being like, this line is crazy. So finally I started a fucking riot, guys. I started a riot, I walked through. Then yet, finally the security guard bitch comes back and goes, where were you? It was a riot and then other people started to walk through. And they're yelling at me like, we need to check your bag. Oh, my bag is open. I have it gaping open. I'm like, check it. I'm not trying to fight you. Let me in, like do your job. Like all I want is somebody to, they left their post. Like it was nuts, okay? We're screaming, they're screaming at us. And I'm like, check my bag, check it. And um, they're like, get in line. I'm like, you weren't here. Who was here checking? And then, um, God, the whole thing must've just been like two minutes. And then uh, they're like, get back in the line. It's like, no, bitch. So then all these other people that had followed us through the security, like through the, the rioting, they go back in the line. No, bitch. No, I'm not going back in that line. No, I'm not going back in that line. I'm not. Pride and fuck you. You're like 20 and you're terrible at your job. And it's not even about an age or a thing. It's like, treat me with respect. I will treat you with respect. It was just no respect. And the fact that everyone was just at Fenway doing just fine, and that's not even a real concert venue, and these fuckers can't handle a general admission line, I wasn't going back in that line. Fuck that. So at that point, I knew we weren't getting into the show. So <laughs> me and Dan were just like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh God, I hate the House of Blues. I hate it. And it sucks because it's a cool looking venue and once you get inside, it's fun. But as I was leaving, I guess some guy in the security was like, okay, another fucking crazy bitch fish fan about me. It's like, and that's so annoying because it's like, no, I started a revolution for the people. Like, I had to sacrifice myself for the people on the line so they could get in. And then I guess as he said that, Dan turned around and was like, fuck you! And like screamed at him and left. It was like every situation you're ever in in a line where you just want to freak out and be like, this is fucking crazy and you always have to hold it together. Like at the airport, at a concert. And you're like, no, you got to hold it together. And something just broke inside of me. And I was like, no, this is not right. I'm fucking saying something. Needless to say, regardless of all that, that fish show ended up being maybe my favorite fish show of the whole tour. Maybe because it was so hard earned and we waited so long in the rain. By the way, my rain jacket kept me completely dry, which was great. But um, I think just the energy that it was special and it was something different. And I think it was a really cool way to end our fish run. And we got to be with all of our friends. So major success, major success. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed following us along on fish tour. No more fish for the rest of the summer, guys, okay? And yeah, if you're not that into this, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming, whatever that may be. So thanks for watching this episode of Angels Anything Show. See you next time. Bye.